See that great disengage from all that noise? Yes, that's a conditioned response because the dogs are gonna alert to stuff their whole life. This dog is gonna be seven and he's still going to wait, alert to sudden environmental contrast, especially sounds. All right, so DOG across the street, yes. Stay, stay. Yes. Stay. So I'm gonna use these cars. Yes. Hey, you wanna get paid? With me. Stay. Yes. Stay. Yes. Stay. Stay. Oop. Stay. Oop. Stay. Stay. Oop. Stay. Stay. Right, so he's across the street with his dog over there. Stay, right? Stay. Yes. Stay. Okay. That's how you use environmental blocking. I'll probably get a sighting. Yes. Stay. Stay. Yes. 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 Leave it. Wait. Cross. Let's go, come on. Where's those rabbits, you see? Where's those rabbits? Where's those rabbits? Yes. Now the reason why I got them all excited thinking there's rabbits because there's another dog coming, right? And I wanna get the sighting, but I need distance, so. All right, shake it off. Yeah, we're working, kid, we're working. This is work, man. Right, so this is enough distance. This is like, uh, that's about 200 feet, maybe 150, right? Cross. But I'm gonna come over here, cause I'm in a driveway right there. See if I can get this sighting. And again, this is a safe place to set up because there's probably not gonna be any dogs, right? Right, so I'm gonna just mark for the person, right? Cause he noticed her. Cause she's gonna have a dog attached to her. Yes. 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 Okay. Wait. Catch. Good job. Catch. Good job. Okay, let's go. Later coming in, probably get something off that. Yes. Stay. Yes. Stay. Yes. Stay. Yes. Stay. Yes. Come on, let's go. A lot of DOGs out here today, man. A lot of dog traffic, a lot of sudden sightings. Again, Ralphie gets excited. He's happy reactive, you know? Like he wants to go see them and then in five seconds he won't care about them. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. All the way. Leave it. Leave it. Yes. Yes. He was getting that eye contact. Come on. And that's why he got that's why he got upset because he was getting that eye contact. He wasn't like that on the first pass with the other dogs. It was the eye contact. So what you saw today with Ralphie is wait. Okay. What you saw today with Ralphie was counter conditioning to reduce his frustration from seeing dogs suddenly. Uh, and you know, there was some weights and stays and leave it's in there. Yes. Getting a little, uh, yes, a little counter conditioning here off this truck. Um, yes. When you mitigate your distance and you mark and pay, you're gonna lower the dog's frustration, fear, whatever. As you saw with the last dog, direct eye contact. I always explain this to people, that's a threat signal and dogs don't appreciate it. 
So you, you know, you might have a dog like Ralphie who's really social, likes dogs, but gets that eye contact and he's like, oh, I ain't having that, bro. Right? No difference in, you know, human interactions. You know, you'll see somebody get an eye contact and it'll change the tenor of that convo, right? For better or worse, depending on context. So that's how you do it, right? You mitigate your distance, you pay attention, yes, and treat, and you'll have better results. My name is Drayton Michaels. I'm a dog trainer, behavior technician. You can check me out on youtube.com slash urban dogs. You can check me out on moderndogtraining.com if you need remote help. And if you're local here, South Jersey, urbandogs.com, I can definitely help you out with your dog, regardless of what's going on. It's always force free, it's always positive behavior analysis, applied behavior analysis, no mumbo jumbo, dominance nonsense, all that crap. It's legit. So if you need help, get at me. Dog life. My status is automatic. Yo. 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 Yo.